Hi, Michelle. Hi, Matt. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Very well, thank you. So you're a lover of all things Colorado, I've read. Hey, listen, I, 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 I wasn't born in Colorado, but I was there since I was a year and a half. I, the Broncos are still my team. My folks live in the house where I grew up. My brother, my, my sister-in-law, my niece are all there. Denver, to me, will always be home. Do you get back there often? I get back there at least six or seven times a year. I try to get back for Broncos games. My dad has season, season tickets to the Broncos, to the Rockies. We got a place in Vail. I go ski. My brother lives um, in, what is it, Rhino? I don't even know the, the hip new a a name for it, but the area with all the hot new restaurants, five, right around five points. And I, my best friends are still in Denver. I went to Cherry Creek High School, so I love going back to relive the glory days there. Denver will always be home. And you are actually a medical doctor as well. Do you ever miss it? Well, so I was doing residency at the University of Colorado when I decided that maybe there was a different path for me. And that's when I ended up, I moved out to L.A. I started doing stand-up comedy. I don't regret for a second going to medical school, and I don't regret leaving and finding this new path. I feel like I help people through laughter. And, and now that I've ended up on the other side of the stethoscope, having rheumatoid arthritis, I've learned that this platform that I have between American Ninja Warrior or having the opportunity to go on Celebrity Apprentice, it's given me a chance to share my story and let people know who have this disease that you can have rheumatoid arthritis or be one of the other 54 million Americans who have uh, over 100 forms of arthritis and know you can still lead a full life. And together, what, we, what I want to do by sharing my story is to inspire people to come together and to raise awareness and to learn more about this disease and to get a grip on arthritis and hopefully we we find treatments we raise money we raise awareness and someday we find a cure i promise i'll ask you quite a few questions on arthritis just a few extra ones first uh how did you get the gig with american ninja warrior so that became about it's the funniest thing that the very first hosting job I ever got was on E. It was a show called Screenplay that led to a show called Clean House, a home makeover show on style, that led to a show called Sports Soup on the Versus Network. Now, none of those shows exist, and the two of those networks are gone, but it ended up getting me the job that I have today, American Ninja Warrior. We've got the spinoff show, American Ninja Warrior Ninja vs. Ninja. We just announced a kid's version, American Ninja Warrior Jr., and thank God... <laughs> I'm involved in all of it. And what's great is, again, having rheumatoid arthritis, I'm involved in the most active show on the planet. Now, I'm not great competing on it, but I get to talk about it. I get to be a part of it, and I get to use that platform to help amplify my message. Now, you also won the Celebrity Apprentice. What was the biggest victory you thought you had there? Well, I, it's funny. I mean, the biggest victory was, A, getting to tell my story about having rheumatoid arthritis and winning um, almost a million dollars or raising a million dollars in charity. But I, I think it was the Harry Potter episode where no one else knew Harry Potter. And I went all the way in with the Daily Phoenix. And, and I'm quoting Quidditch. I'm, I'm talking about you know, Salazar Slytherin. I'm, I'm talking about Severus Snape. I'm talking potions. I'm talking, you know, we're, we're going to have seekers and bludgeons and, and all kinds of Quidditch people. And I'm talking about the houses. And I'm telling Brooke Burke, she's totally Ravenclaw. And, and, and no one else knew what I was talking about. And I don't think Arnold Schwarzenegger did either, but he saw the passion and he saw the fact that I was willing to take a chance and the willing that I was, that I was willing to put myself out there. And I think that's something that served me well in life. And that's what I want to bring to the Arthritis Foundation is this idea of, I, I, I know I'm lucky. I, I have rheumatoid arthritis, but because people had donated money because people had found treatments i have my life back i'm able to do american ninja Warrior and compete on celebrity apprentice and it's only because people before me gave and shared their stories and 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 suffered through unimaginable pain i i want to go pay that forward and hopefully someday there are 54 million americans living with arthritis and that's why during arthritis awareness month we're kicking off this campaign let's get a grip on arthritis where we want to come together once and for all as a country and say, it's time. It's time to, to, to become aware of this disease. It's time to, to raise money for this disease. And it's time to find a cure. 
Now tell me your story about uh, your coming coming up with arthritis. Yeah, being so, one of the 54 million. Well, that's what's what's amazing is I I was diagnosed Christmas of 2002. I was in my early 30s. I was you know a guy in in the prime of his life being told I have a disease that primarily affects women, women in their 50s, and I was relieved. And people always find that odd to hear. And I think the reason I was relieved was because for the 18 months leading up to that point my body and life fell apart. I, I, it started with pain in my finger. I mean, I was in my early 30s. I was in the best shape of my life, and all of a sudden, uh, pain in my right index finger spreads to my feet, spreads to my neck, to my back. I go from working out six, seven days a week to not working out at all. I, I was sleeping 10 to 12 hours a day. I gained 55 pounds. I became a shadow of myself. My, my dad, my dad, who's a doctor, nicknamed me Quasimodo, and oh, it no. was true. And, and so when I was told why, when I was told why my body was falling apart, that's why I was relieved because now I knew what the opponent was. I knew we had a target. I knew we had something we could attack. And that was the biggest difference in my life was once I was told I had rheumatoid arthritis and I started treatment, I got my life back. And I think that for anyone who's dealt with a chronic challenge, a chronic disease, to to be given a second chance makes you so grateful. It makes you want to be a part of something like the Arthritis Foundation. It makes me want to be a part of this new campaign, Let's Get a Grip on Arthritis. Because when you think of arthritis, most people think of it as something that affects old people. And they don't realize that of the 54 million Americans who have it, more than two thirds of them are under the age of 65 and 300,000 of them our children. It's the number one cause of disability in this country. It costs our economy over $150 billion a year. So that's why I think we, that's what this campaign is about, is saying we've had enough. Let's get a grip on this disease. Let's raise awareness. Let's get people to go to the Arthritis Foundation, arthritis.org. Let's get people to give money, arthritis.org slash let's grip, grip arthritis. And let's Let's put an end to this once and for all. Let's not just find treatments. Let's find a cure. Now, what is let's get a grip on arthritis? Well, it's just the idea of obviously, you know, that when you have arthritis, one of the toughest things is is can be holding on to something. It can be whether it's opening up a jar of peanut butter or holding a beer on a Sunday afternoon. But when we say let's get a let's get a grip on life, let's get a grip on this disease. Let's come together let's learn about this disease and understand the impact it has because that is how we motivate America to say that's enough. Let's donate the money. Let's, let's come after this disease. Let's come out with, with everything we have to unite together and, and raise the money we need to find these treatments and hopefully to find the cure. What advice do you have for other people who have arthritis? Look, the, the reality is you're not alone. So learn about this disease. Go to arthritis.org. Learn the questions you should be asking. Learn about the treatments. Find, find a community. For me, one of the reasons that I love sharing my story is inevitably I find people who, who say, I never knew you had RA. And, and, and they said, I, I've never known someone who had RA. They don't feel so alone. And that's what arthritis is about. It's about sharing our stories. It's about it's about this campaign is about coming together to to increase awareness of this and to get people to fight to to say that this is the time where we get a grip on this disease and hopefully find that cure and and even if we don't find the cure that we that we give people the hope that we let people know you're not alone in this so go on twitter Look at the hashtag, let's grip arthritis. Send out a photo of something you love doing, whether it's skiing or playing golf or even if it's just holding your grandchild, whatever it is. And you'll be amazed to see how many people are suffering with this disease, how many people are, are fighting, how many people like me you wouldn't know have this disease. But we're in this together, and hopefully we'll find a cure together. How do you like people to connect with you? Well, for me, look, I'm on Twitter way too much, at Matt Eisman. Go to my website, MattEisman.com. You can always watch American Ninja Warrior. Season 10 starts May 30th. Um, 
go to our arthritis foundation, arthritis.org. I'm on there a ton. Use the hashtag Let's Grip Arthritis. I've been posting a ton of ridiculous photos of me doing cartwheels or Look, I even count eating ice cream as being active, okay? So I have a very <laughs> loose definition here. We just want you to be a part of this. We just want to raise awareness. And, and this, this is how we make a difference, is, is coming together as, as a country and, and all of us. And that's always how we've made a difference in America. It's not, you don't do anything alone. American Ninja Warrior has taught me that. You see people on the course, no one does it alone. I don't fight arthritis alone. I have my family. I have my doctors. I have the Arthritis Foundation. And for anyone else who's suffering from this disease, you have me. So go to at Matt Eisman. Say hello. I'm, I'm happy to share any information I, I have. I'm happy to introduce you to the folks at the Arthritis Foundation. And together, we'll get a grip on arthritis. And hopefully someday, arthritis will be a thing of the past. Thank you so much. This is great. These are great tips. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.